If I had visitors coming with me, is this how they would make the house? And you're a wife, not a house girl. Look, look at what you're wearing. I don't know. This is just this is too much for me. I'm really hungry. Whatever you have for now is good. Please. I am so sorry. As soon as I got back from work, I had to get to cleaning. I started upstairs. I was still working at it. And then I'll come downstairs and continue. I'm so sorry you had to see all that. I hear this same story every day. For the past three years, this is the exact same thing you tell me. You've been busy. You're doing this. I For three years, no effort of changing. For three years. I have been busy cleaning upstairs. Look at it. I, when you go upstairs, you see it. I've been cleaning upstairs. And I'm going to start downstairs as soon as I get, I get finished, OK? You have been cleaning upstairs. I'm sorry you have to see Alisa, I hear you. You have been busy not cleaning the house for the past three years. So it's not a surprise to me anyway. But I just hope you change. Please, where's the food? Please. It's almost done. Almost. Just bring it like that. Okay. Please. Okay. Like that. okay, I'm so sorry, honey. So I'm me, sorry. Let me get this Because I, I don't even understand. Talk about the same thing every day. Talk about the same thing. Just make effort to change. Make effort to change. Work on your weakness. Make effort to change. Well, no, no effort. Honey, you will not believe what happened at work today. So I get to work, my boss calls me and he asks me to go ahead and call Frank. So I went ahead, called Frank. And next thing he says, call Cynthia for me again. And I'm sitting there now, I'm wondering what is going on. And then the next thing, he asks me to go ahead and call Cynthia. Leave me alone, leave me alone. Oh. No, no, I'm my business with Frank and Cynthia. Sorry. Please, let me eat in peace, please. I, I was just trying to give a rundown of my day at work today. No, you didn't mean, you didn't have to leave me alone for now. Ah. I, I was just trying to give you a rundown of my day at work today. Uh, okay, know. okay. What is this? Now my appetite has even disappeared. What about this all this? Ah, even this place that you use for this one, I'm not sure if you watched it. You could look at it everywhere. You don't even know how to me this marriage. That's all I can't believe it. Did you bath today? 
Did you take a shower today? Uh, yeah. Can, can you see how everyone is smelling? I, I took a shower very early in the morning. Yeah. yeah. And you are smelling like this? But I, I just didn't take one in the evening. I was a housewife, you are smelling like this. See how everyone is just thinking. What is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? But you know I've been cleaning since morning. I'm too tired. I couldn't take another one this evening. Alisa, only God will have mercy on you. You see, with the way you are treating me in this house, only God can have mercy on you. Look at how everywhere is smelling. I cannot even sleep on this bed again. I've been cleaning since. I'm too tired. I'm not sure how I got myself into this. A weakness in your life and you can't make effort <clears throat> to even change. You are just so extremely dirty. I don't know if there's another one. I'm sure you're not bad for you. Just, you're just lying. Because it's, it's not the first time. I, you've gone three days before now. Look, I, I cannot sleep here. Look how everywhere is smelling. How did I get here? When you go sleep with your door. Hi, Sister Lisa. Hello, Pastor. How are you doing? How are you? It's good to see you, Pastor. You too. Sit down. Have your seat. Thank you. Your husband will be here soon. I just called him. Okay. How have you been doing? I've been good. I thank God. How are the, how are the kids doing? Oh, they're doing well. Thank okay. you, sir. How are you doing, Pastor? Oh, we're doing great. We thank God. Yeah, I mentioned that I called your husband. He's on his way. He'll be here any minute. Okay. He's on his way here. Thank you, sir. Come on in. How are you? Pastor, what's she doing here? Come on in. How are you? Pastor, I'm fine. Pastor, what has she come to report to you? Please, please sit down, brother. Sit uh, down. Pastor, let me just I, I, let me just stand this way. I don't I don't even want to mingle with her. Let me do that. I'm okay like please, this. Please. Please. Pastor. Brother Tadi, how have you been? Uh, Pastor, I'm fine. Yeah, we we give God praise. Brother Tade, what is this that I'm hearing that you've not been to your house in the last three days? Pastor, this woman, she wants to kill me. She, she wants to kill me. So I had to leave and go cool off somewhere and rethink this thing we call marriage. What? Brother Tade, you want to rethink your marriage? Is it, is it that serious? Pastor, you see, I'm glad that she's the one that came to meet you. She's the one that will expose herself now. It's not me that I, that I came to report. Pastor, if there's another word for being dirty, we should use it for my wife. She is extremely dirty. What? Pastor, to the level that I'm 100% I'm, I'm sure that as she's sitting right now, she hasn't taken a shower today. No, I don't believe her. Pastor, she's my wife. She doesn't take a shower. She doesn't brush her teeth. She doesn't clean the house. She is very dirty and she takes joy in it. She okay. takes joy in it. And Pastor, for, for me to be saying this, we've been married for three years. I've endured this for three years. She only knows how to do one thing and that is cook. She can cook, but she is very, very dirty. Sister Alisa, is this true? Pastor, it's just that I, I always get tired. And, and, and forget to use deodorant, you know. I mean, after I clean, maybe uh, uh, clean upstairs and then come downstairs to clean again, I forget to use deodorant. And some other times, I'm just too tired to take a shower. Brother Tadi, Brother Tadi, you know, this is the United States of America. You should try helping out from time to time. You know, people get caught up with being too busy and where people need to be treated right, you know, with respect. Brother Tadi, you try to help her out from time to time, okay? Pastor, let, I know your mind you'll be thinking, you know, I should understand that I need to help and all that. Just before you go to that area, let me just tell you how things work in our house. Because I know it's a weakness in our life and I'm trying to help her. She's, a, she's here as a witness. Pastor, in our house, I clean, I soak the floor. I'm the one that wash, I clean the bathroom. I do all the cleaning in the house. But she will still find a way to make everything dirty again. When she won't be able to do it. Pastor, let me shock you. This one will shock you. You can imagine, I'll just get home. 
and I want to use the bathroom. And you just see the bathroom, you wonder, who used this bathroom that did not even flush it? And in your mind, you'll be thinking, you know, it's the children. But pastor, after much investigation, you will find out that it's this woman. Mm. And she will use the toilet and not flush. Mm. She will not flush. Making your eye to behold iniquity. That's bad. Pastor, you, you, can, you can imagine. I do all the cleaning in the house, wash the bathroom, wash the toilet. But she will not do anything and she will mess it up again. This cannot be. Sister Alisa. That's so. Ah. I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry, I Pastor. Am, I will change. Sister Alisa, hold on, hold on. You see, your husband is a very good man. He's trying to, he's even helping you out. If, if at least, I'm so glad that you cook. Because your husband has commended you for on that aspect that you do cook. I'm so glad that you do cook. But at least if you cannot keep the house clean, when he does keep it clean, well, at least leave it that way for him. You see, he's helping you out. I know this is a weak point in your life, but you have to try. Even if you cannot clean, do not make a mess after he is cleaned, okay? And you know your children, they are watching you. They are watching you and you don't want them to end up like this. Please, make a change in your life. And Brother Tadi, she's your wife. You have endured this far. You have endured for three years. Please, work with her. You have said it. It is a weak point in her life. Help her. Help her. Remind her. Pastor, can please, you, th thank you please. that you mentioned that I've been in this for three years. I think the way the way I see her life, it's probably a spiritual problem now. And I was even going to meet you to see maybe when is you going to bring a deliverance minister or something. <laughs> Pastor, because I tell, I'm telling you, I've tried to help her, <laughs> but she will not. She will just say, well, I'll do it, but she will. It's a spiritual problem in her life. I don't know if there's a demon going no, 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 no. Brother Tadi, so we, so we are working this out. I will change. Please help her. Please. Work with her. Help her. Sister, Sister Elisa, please. I need to hear good news about you going forward. Your husband is ready to help you. This is a very serious issue. It is important to him. Make it your priority. Get your priorities right. Stop making excuses. If your husband is, if something is important to your husband, you have to make it a priority. Okay? He's going to help you, but you need to also help yourself. Please, yes, please, I'm please. Changed. I do not want to hear this about you. Yes, you are a good woman, yes, but you have this weak point. He has said he will help you. Please. Okay? Thank you, sir. I will change. I'm so sorry, honey. I promise. I will change. I will change. I, I, I pray so. It's my desire I that you, you know, even if not for I'm someone so else, for your own hygiene. Please. I'm so sorry, honey. It's okay. No problem. Thank it's you. okay. Thank it's okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Pastor. Thank, thank, thank you so you. much, Pastor. You're welcome. Thank, thank, thank you. you. Thank we, God. We appreciate you, sir. Thank you, God, sir. God, I'll put you in my prayers. Okay.